this quick tutorial where I'm going to be going over how to add this below here uh, like I did here to the lantern. Uh, once I posted this image up on Instagram I received a lot of messages asking me how did I do this below here um, because the original image here does not have it so we are gonna go over real quick on how I was able to make this quick glow and you can actually you know, use it for any other items or if you just want to throw a glow in the background or anything like that so let's jump right into how I got this glow into this image. Now I'm not going to go through a whole editing. I'm just going to go through making that uh, the glow here in this lantern. Now I did already, as you can see here, I had a big old sticker here that I forgot to remove. Uh, but that's all right. It was uh, easy to to take out real quick. So we're just going to ignore this um, this layer right here. Uh, first thing I did do was I went on to Google Images and I found an image of a candle. Now you can see in the finished thing, you really don't see the candle much, just a little bit right there. Um, but it's all about building the layers up so that it looks um, a little bit more realistic, I guess you could say. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and grab my candle, grab my little tool here and drag that up into this image and now what I'm going to do is change the blend mode to screen. Now what that does is it takes out all the black so you really when you're looking for things to overlay if it has a black background or something like that black is usually the easiest way to, um, to remove the background. So I went with black and then I'm going to hit my little uh, mask tool here and grab my brush so that I can brush out this candle sex section of the flame because we don't need that we only need this the top part here so with on with my brush on black over here black soft I'm use a soft brush and I am just going to brush that bottom part out just so it leaves the flame area there we go and I'm going to come back here, grab my little tool here so I can move it around. And I'm going to go ahead and place it right down on there. And then it's a little big, so I'm going to hit Command T so I can resize it. I am using a Mac. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Oh, it looks about right. So I have it placed right in there. Now you can see it's kind of not right. We should have wires and stuff in the background. So I'm going to grab my brush again. And I'm going to zoom in, make my brush just as big as that wire, and I'm going to brush that wire back in, just like that. So it actually looks like it's inside of the lantern there. There we go, that's looking really good. Now what I am going to do is change the color a little bit. So if I double click on my layer there, can come over here and do a uh, color overlay. Oops, not on that one. Cancel that out real quick. Uh, what we can do is do a hue and saturation and then hit this little button here so that we can clip it to the bottom. There we go. So you can see I can drag my slider now and change the color of that. So I am going to change it more to a little bit of that yellow color maybe take down the saturation a little bit now on here you can't go up light you can make it a little bit go in the dark end so it's a little bit more translucent so there we go so that's what we have so far so we have our our starting point in the middle we have the candle or the flame right there in the middle looking really good but now of course the candle glows and as you see on the end here I went more darker so it was more uh, more of a late dusk, I guess, time frame. Not totally night, um, but still enough that where it's going to produce a, a glow here. So coming over here, I like to then put those two, the flame, into its own little group. So I'm going to select both of them, hit Command G, so it creates its own little group. There we go. Now I'm going to create a new layer. 
Now I'm going to come over here, grab my gradient tool, and I'm using the little circular motion, and I just have you know just a clear white um, gradient selected here. Hit OK. And now when you're creating this, you just want to create just a small one, and you don't want to create it by the edge because what happens is, let's say you create it right here, you go too big, and I grab my tool and I move it. See how it cuts it out here on the side? So you want to create it in the middle of your image. So let's step back here. And all right, so grab my gradient tool again on the circle. I'm just going to create a small, small one right there. So I can grab my little tool here so I can move it around. And then we can place it. Now the first one I did, I made it just big enough for right inside the lantern, just like that. So now on this one, now we can double click on that layer, bring up this layer style menu. And now we can do, let's say, an outer glow. This is going to be more towards the edge here. And we can go in here, select a color, maybe like that yellow. Hit OK. And then you can change the opacity so you can kind of build it. But you don't want to get too crazy. You want it to, to slowly build out. So we're going to go kind of low on there on the opacity, maybe about 20%. See the spread? This will make it a little bit bigger, but you can see it makes its edges a little bit harder. You don't want that, so you want that soft edge. And then you can increase the size of it just like this, which is good, so it softens up those edges a tad bit. Now that's the outer glow. Now we can do inner glow. So now we're going to come over here, and we just, you can also select a, you know whatever color. I go a little bit more on the white on this one. Now it's not going to be as much of a different color on this one, but it still adds a little bit. So there we go. We got my settings that I had in here before. I can be pretty high on the opacity. You really don't see much of a change. Now you can also do a um, where's it at here? Inner glow. There's a fill layer here. Oh, color overlay. There we go. Hit the color overlay, and that's going to add even more color in there. So I have red, but I'm going to switch that more towards an orange or yellow, more of like the color of the of the flame. There we go. Hit OK, and then you can also change the opacity on that. So you can see, and then you just bring that up a little bit. There you go. And that's looking good. I can hit OK. And I can see it's not dead center. So I do want to move that around a little bit. There we go. And I do want the glow to come up a little bit more. So when I hit Command T, I'm just going to pull that up. There we go. And then hit Enter. So you can see we're, we're building up and we're getting a nice start to that. Now it might be a little bit much, so I can tone it down just a little bit. There we go. Not much, just a tad bit. I'm going to create another layer, and I'm going to create another um, little circle here, a little glow. And then I'm going to hit Command T. I'll make this one bigger. So you're building that glow further out and out and out, so it so it builds. So then this way, that yellow is right there, and then the white of the candle, because usually it tends to glow a little bit white. And we can make this one a little bit bigger. There we go. Hit enter. And again, we can come in, double click that layer, and then adjust the color on that too. So we can come in here, just maybe grab a little bit more of a, of a white. There we go. We don't want spread, we want that nice and soft. Range, mess that a little bit. Go. There we go. So we got a nice white layer there, and then do the inner glow as well. I'm just gonna leave that. I just checked it off, so it already has the settings here, and then the color overlay. So we're gonna do another color overlay, but this time we're gonna go a little bit lighter. But I am going into that orange range a little bit here. There we go. Hit OK. 
and then you can adjust the saturation to your liking. There we go, I like a nice glow in there, so I'm going to hit OK. There we go. Now I do want it to come out a little bit more, so I'm going to hit Command T, maybe make it just a little bit bigger. But you want to try to center it with uh, with your candle. There we go. Hit OK. And then I can lower down the opacity on that just a tiny bit. There we go. Now I can put both of those into its own group by selecting them in Command G. And there we go. And then we have a nice buildup here of that candle. So you can see if I turn off the flame right here in the center, it just turns that off. It just make, adds that little bit of a realism there by actually putting in a flame there. Uh, now I did go further and when I did my uh, editing, I dodged all around here. I made this all lighter for arm. Oops. As you can see, if I bring this, uh, oops, I guess that image went away here. All right, let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, portfolio. There we go. As you can see, all in here, I dodged all around here a little bit in her face, and I also did another empty layer where I added some of that color from here into those areas where that light would be hitting. So all around. So this was my base for getting that image. So that's how you do it. It's really simple. Just like that. As a matter of, what, three, a couple layers? Oh, one other thing that I did add. If you can, oops, let me bring that back up here. I don't know why I keep closing that out. There we go. And you can see see those cross lines there for a little bit of flare. I also went on Google Earth again and just found a, a flare. I did a flight or a flare overlay, and you get a bunch of different options. Um, I believe that this was the one that I used. So to add that in there, again, just click, drag that over, drop it into your image. There we go. I'm going to hit Command T just to resize it. Drag it out, hit enter, change that blend mode to screen. There we go. Now you can see it's not the same color like how I have it in this image. So to change that color, um, we're going to have to do like a hue and saturation. But before that, as you can see, I have it going this way and upwards. So what I did was I copied, I duplicated that layer, I hit Command J, or you can click on there and hit duplicate, duplicate, can't even talk today, duplicate layer, that'll make a copy. So then you go to that copy layer, hit Command T, and then you can either come right here and turn it, or you can click on it and say rotate it, um, either clockwise or counterclockwise, doesn't matter. So it goes straight up and hit enter. So there we go. Now I do want to resize that one a little bit less. Go and I am going to resize the other one as well. Hit Command T, go down just a little bit. There we go. Now I am going to combine both of those so I can just work on one layer. So I'm going to select both of those, double click or you know, click on it so that you get the little menu. menu. Come down here, merge layers. Now, of course, it's going to do this, so you have to switch the blend mode back to soft light. Oops. Sorry, screen. Can't even think today. There we go. Now we're going to change the color. So we can go into our little menu here, go to hue and saturation. And then we can change. Oops. Oh, I'm sorry. You got to make sure you click the little uh, clip tool there so it only affects that layer down there. We can go like this. There we go. And we're going to be looking for kind of that orangey, there we go, kind of color that would come off of there. You bring down the saturation. Bring down that the lightness on it, which will make it go down, blend more a little bit, a little bit better. There we go. 
You can see I'll have it centered. I'll grab this. There we go. Now it's looking better. And then I can bring down the opacity on that. Just like that. And then I can go ahead and put both of those into its own group as well. And there you have it. I mean, it's really easy to produce that glow. I did spend a little extra time on it with the colors and then overall, you know, doing my skin editing and doing my color grading to the whole thing, which will also affect uh, the blending of um, those lights and everything. So it'll end up looking better. And then I added these little fairy lights in here just to make it look more, I guess, surreal or ethereal, ethereal looking. So there you have it. Super easy. We got the flame. We have two glow uh, gradients, the circular ones, where we just uh, mess with the effects within the layer by double clicking on the layer and adding inner glows, color overlay, and outer glow. And then we just added our little, uh, I guess, light leak or uh, light flare. And then did a hue saturation and clipped it to that layer and adjusted the color, the, uh, the darkness, and the saturation. Just like that, super easy. And you can use this for all sorts of things. And if, you, if I wanted to, I can even select all of them. And I can move that around wherever I wanted. So I can just place it right back. There we go. Super easy. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you uh, you click to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram at Alimo Photos. Take it easy.